This video is a brief overview of the Axiom product cell manager. Have you ever inherited a project from another contractor where they gave you the DGNs, but they didn't give you the cell libraries? Or just the opposite, have you ever taken on a job where there were gobs of cells and cell libraries, but they desperately needed to be sifted and sorted? Or perhaps you did receive the cell libraries and amazingly, they were in a good state. How did you deliver your staff the documentation on which cells to use for what and for where? For each of these things, there is a solution. The name is Cell Manager. With that said, I'm gonna show you a few of the main features in Cell Manager that solve these issues and many more. When you install Axiom products, you end up with the uh, Axiom pull down menu and Cell Manager is the first item on the menu and I've already got it loaded here. So the first thing you gotta do is choose the cell library that you wanna process. I've already got one chosen here, but just so you can see how easy it is to select other libraries at the same time. You can't always, or you don't always wanna process just one library. With Cell Manager, you have the option to choose many libraries. Uh, so there you go. You can see that I've chosen two. You can drag that out so that you can see them. Uh, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna do one library for this video. All right, so the first feature I wanted to show you is Manage. Um, it, it's uh, maybe a little unfair to it to call it a single feature because really there's a ton of stuff in here. So the first item is view. And uh, that just allows you to see what the selected cell looks like in the library. Very simple. Then you have details, which just shows you gobs of data about the selected cell. Then you have edit. Allows you to open and make direct changes to the cell within MicroStation using MicroStation. Press done when complete. Uh, then rename, very simple, it allows you to change the name of a cell in a library. Copy, um, also very simple, makes allows you to create a copy of an existing cell in a library. You just give it a new name and description. Delete, I'm not going to press because I do not want to delete the uh, cell from my library. Uh, next, you have modify. It allows you to make changes to uh, attributes of uh, all the selected cells. And this one's pretty crazy because you can do a lot here. Um, we have color selected and it's color three, which well, what this means is it, all the cells that you select, it would look at and find all elements of all cells that contain color three. And then down here, you're telling it what color you want to change it to. And I have one, but you can do all the symbology here and you can modify text as well. All right, next you've got transform, which uh, lets you make changes to scale, rotation, working units, and resolution. Uh, convert lets you change model properties for the cell. And finally, export uh, lets you send all the selected cells to either their own file or to a new or existing cell library of your choosing. And that's pretty much it on manage. All right, so the next, probably the most popular tool is draw pages. And what this does is lets you create documentation for um, all the cells you have selected, or at least all the cells in the library. Again, if you choose multiple uh, cell libraries, then it's gonna do all the cells for all those libraries. Um, now that you have it laid out, you would uh, press create plots. And what this does is it sends, you, sends um, all of the pages here to a plotter. Now, people don't want paper notebooks anymore. So, what you can do is uh, configure it to go directly to a PDF instead, uh, which is what everybody I talk to wants to do, because that's just <laughs> that is just how things are right now. Uh, and it, it's all done. You get a message, shows you the location of the output file, but it doesn't matter much because you can just press display and it's going to pop it open. And now you can see the whole deal here. And uh, you can just do a file save as on that and put it wherever you want to. So that's it on Draw Pages. Uh, the last feature I wanted to show is the Extract feature. Um, the purpose of Extract is to be able to pull all of the cells out of all the DGNs or DWGs that you choose and place them in a library uh, that you either choose the name of or uh, it'll, uh, it, it'll create it automatically or you can choose an existing library. Uh, it's a particularly handy feature if you inherit a project from some other contractor, but that contractor doesn't give you all the resources that were used during the creation of the, of the files, which happens a lot. So, okay, those are the main features or some of the main features of Cell Manager. I hope this has given you a good understanding of what Cell Manager's got to offer. Thanks for watching.